Hello, my name is Wayne. I'm one half of the DIY Doers. And while my business partner Steph is busy blogging, I'm doing some vlogging and giving you a top tip. Today's top tip is how to remove a radiator. Um, I'm about to uh, wallpaper this low level below the, uh, the dado rail and I need to get behind, so I'm going to take the radiator off. It's a really simple, easy job to do. Don't be afraid of it. I've done another video about how to drain um, and um, remove the air pressure, um, uh, how to bleed the radiator, sorry. And if you have a look at that, that gives you a little bit more information about how a radiator works, but I'll show you how to disconnect this radiator. So the first thing I need to do is stop the water supply going to the radiator. And it's like a constant loop. So what happens is water comes in one area and it goes out the other. So what we need to do is take off these little uh, plastic cats here, take that off. I've turned off the water at that side, so I've done exactly the same on the other side. And there's a little valve on the top, and what I need to do is twist that to off. So remember I was saying, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So if I want to turn off a valve, you tighten the valve up, so I'm going to turn it right. So I've got some combination pliers here, I'm going to turn it on the front top, and turn it round, I'm turning it round to the right, so it's all the way. There we are. So if you turn that side, I know there's no water coming into that, that way, and I've done the same on this side. And now there's a, uh, a nut here, which attaches to the radiator, and I need to loosen off this nut. Now, in the most of it, there's going to be water within the radiator, even though we've isolated it coming into it, there's still going to be, this is going to be full of water, so we need to drain this first. So, I put a, a bucket there, put a bucket here, I've got plenty of towels and cloths because naturally it might go places, but we don't want to flood downstairs. I'm going to put my adjustable spanner onto here. And then I just loosen it off. See, water's already coming out. slow because what it is is a bit of an airlock inside. So as soon as I do the same on this side, the air will be coming and let that water come out. So it might come out quickly. So you do this slowly on this side. Okay. Okay. See it's coming out a bit quicker. And I'm just creating a cup here to collect the water so it doesn't go downstairs. And I've got a towel here as well to help you down. And the water's coming out quicker and quicker and quicker, and hopefully it will be drained very shortly. And what you can do now is this radiator is only hooked on, so it's not bracketed on. I could lift the whole radiator up and tip the water out. So that's, it. that's what I'm going to do. So, put it here. And to replace it, you do exactly the same, just in reverse, put it all back up, hang it back on, screw on the, the bolts, and then open up the water pressure, and the water will go back into the radiator. You might have to top up your radiator system, so watch the video about bleeding your radiator, and I'll show you how to do that. So, if you thought this video was helpful, please like it. If you'd like to know more about the DIY Doers, check us out at thediywdoers.com, and join our Facebook group for interactive chat and support. And that breath. And remember, you can be a DIY dealer.